Hey, this is Bert Sperling again with some really great Best Places news. We have a new long form quiz that will help you find your own best place to live. It's really great. It's totally expanded. And we've got Al Olson here who's put this together. He's been the spark plug to put it together and done a lot of the engineering on it. So Al's going to lead us through it. And we're going to use our own Nick Arnold as the guinea pig to show you how it all works. So take it away, Al. Thanks, uh, Bert. Appreciate the intro. And um, I'm going to start and share my screen with everyone. And um, just give me a second here. And we're going to look at the site. Can everyone see that? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks great. Okay. So the quiz can be found right at the top of the page right here on quiz. So we're going to go ahead and click that. And this is a, uh, we're, we're calling this quiz LANA, which is our location-based artificial neural architecture. It's um, an AI quiz. It's not an AL quiz, it's an AI quiz. So if you uh, look at that, um, one of the things that you have to do to take the quiz is you have to be a premium member. So if you notice up here, if your account doesn't say premium, you're gonna get frustrated and not be able to take the quiz. Being, being a premium member doesn't cost that much. It's a, a monthly membership. So go ahead and sign up for your membership and then come in here and you can take this, this quiz. So we'll go, go ahead and start and we'll, we're gonna pick on Nick today and he's gonna give us the answers for the quiz. So go ahead, Nick, you tell us, tell us, tell us what you want. Okay, great. So the, the phrase that best describes me, well, I am a married man uh, with, in a couple, and I have no children, so we'll just go with that. What kind of arts, culture, and entertainment am I interested in? Um, I really like museums of all types, regular museums, science museums, art museums. I even take my nephews to children's museums, so we'll include that as well. And I'm also really, really into botanical gardens. I live in Eugene, Oregon. Oh, there it is. Affordability is extremely important to me, as, as you've all heard me talk about on previous podcasts. Um, I don't particularly care about any sort of race or ethnicity. Hold, I'm hold sorry. on, Nick, could you go back up, back one? So what you did is very important. The, the dot there was already highlighted, so you didn't have to do anything. You just press next, right? Yep. Okay, got it. Uh, so do you have a particular race or ethnicity you hope to live near? I would love to live near all people, all kinds of diversity. <laughs> hey, interesting story. I got a call once uh, from someone who lived, I think, somewhere, somewhere, maybe Kansas or whatever, and the fellow, uh, there were a mixed race couple and uh, Asian and Caucasian. And he said, the people here are nice, but we just feel sort of out of, um, uh, there are not many people around, not many couples around like us. So it feels kind of awkward for us. And so he was looking for our help to find a place that was more diverse. So those are the things. It's not, uh, I think a lot of times so much that people are looking for someone uh, that they're against being near, but people that they want to be more near so they can have, they can be more comfortable and have more of their culture in place. And I think that's uh, a really uh, strong value to have. Absolutely. In my personal case, I much prefer the small town to the big city. Yeah, the small I town. What what are we what are we talking about? Small town or Al? Yeah, let's the, let's let's make sure that we're uh, providing audio uh, and reading out everything because some people only listen on audio. So, okay. So, which do you prefer? Uh, the options are big city or small city, or frankly, you don't care. Uh, in my case, I prefer the small city to the large city. Okay, question seven is, uh, as far as home type and affordability, what's the most you'd like to spend on housing? In my case, it's probably less than half a million dollars, and I am a buyer, 
and the options are buying versus renting, and then you can provide your uh, the maximum you'd like to spend on that. But do you have any particular types of churches or religions I hope to live near? I don't in particular. Um, I have no preferences at all. Um, options would be including, you know, a, a litany of options as far as the religion specific, or if you're just generally interested in, you know, non-denominational or et cetera and so forth. And in my case, uh, no selections. And then of course, in this quiz, you don't actually have to select anything if you don't want to. You can actually skip questions just by moving on to the next. Is a stable economy important? I think for most people, a stable economy is important. So yes, the options are yes, no, and doesn't matter. Uh, maybe people might feel they don't need a job, maybe like retirees, mm -hmm. they don't, uh, it isn't that important to them what job opportunities are like. Um, so maybe not as important to them. Right. Next question is all about climate. How do you feel about these various types of weather and climate? The options are sun, snow, rain, and humidity. Certainly don't mind the sun. I don't mind the snow. I don't mind the rain. And I absolutely dislike humidity. So I, I'm assuming the south is probably out for me. Hmm. So do I change anything here? Sorry, I got a little bit distracted. What, what do you want to change? I would just change humidity to dislike. Okay. I select your preferred types of transportation. Um, I own my own car, so that's an option here, but we also have options for ride sharing, public transportation, biking, walking, et cetera. And because I have my own car, we're asking the question, is the traffic congestion a concern? And I think absolutely, yes, it is. Part of the reason why I would really prefer a smaller town, actually. So we have a really great question for 12. Um, you can select any specific taxes that you hope to avoid when you move. Uh, there could be pension taxes, uh, state income tax. Certainly some states have state income tax, some don't. Uh, the same applies to sales tax. Uh, we have an option for food tax that you might want to avoid, tax on social security and inheritance tax. In my specific case, I'm not very concerned about any one specific tax, so we'll just leave them all blank and move on. Now, I, I just wanted to add that uh, this is pretty unique for any of these types of quizzes. Um, the idea, most of most of, most of them just list the uh, state income tax, uh, but of course sales tax is really important. Uh, and then um, tax on social security for retirees uh, and uh, pension and uh, estate taxes, all of those who have included. So that's really a very powerful tool. The okay, next question is, what are the types of amenities and points of interest that might be important to me? Uh, we have options that range from coffee shops to big box stores to non-big box stores, nightclubs, tattoo shops, uh, even specific places like, do you care about a Trader Joe's or an Ikea or, or things like that that are not necessarily you know, ubiquitous across the country? Uh, in my particular case, I really value coffee shops. I really enjoy um, sports bars and live music venues. And that's basically it. Apparently I drink a lot. Um, question 14, what types of recreation are important to me? Now this is really resonating with me. Uh, you have options ranging from pro sports, local sports, college sports, golf courses, winter, you know, if you like beaches, rivers, lakes, what kind of things that really appeal to you, local parks, national parks, hunting, fishing, camping, et cetera. Honestly, I love it all. Um, I don't necessarily need a beach but mountain activities I love, gyms, fitness, winter sports, rivers, lakes. I want it all. Give me every last <laughs> amenity. <laughs> Except beaches, right? Except beaches. Although that might be contrary to most people. You can so totally check the beach box if you want. Uh, the next question is about military benefits and culture. And we afford you the opportunity to factor in proximity to things that are particularly beneficial to veterans. Uh, military benefits and the culture surrounding that. So in my case, I'm not a veteran, so I won't select it, but you always have the option to. Well, uh, interesting note that there's some states like here in Oregon, we have very, very few, I don't, I don't think we have any military bases of any significance, maybe just some National Guard places, but yep. we hardly ever see anyone in uniform uh, or um, have any bases nearby. So 
the culture just in the state is different than some other places where they have some large military installations. And that's important for some people. Absolutely. So the next question is, uh, are there any natural disasters that are particularly concerning to us? We found that a lot of people have very strong opinions about the natural disasters they can or can't live with. Uh, in my case, I actually grew up chasing tornadoes and severe storms, so I'll take that all day long. Um, I'm not, or excuse me, especially concerning. I should not select that. What is really most concerning to me are things that can be potentially really catastrophic, like hurricanes and tropical storms, floods and droughts. Those types of things are, they can have an outsized impact in a lot of ways that pe people don't really consider. And tornadoes are so finite and severe weather is so finite in space and impact that that's, that's not something I'm too concerned with. Hmm. Is it important to have a major airport nearby? Yes, no, doesn't matter for me. A major airport is a serious advantage, so I would say yes. I think we said uh, like within 100 miles or whatever, you, you could travel relatively near close to it. Yeah, that's perfect. That's, that's perfect. Uh, the next question is about healthy lifestyle and neighbors. Um, we basically just explained that who you live near can affect your general health and your lifestyle. Um, so do you care to live near people who prioritize healthy lifestyle, healthy eating, exercise, et cetera? I actually don't care. Um, I'm a man of my own, so I'll say no. Um, do you have any specific health concerns? Uh, for me, I actually do. I, I have quite a lot of allergies, as I've discovered living in Oregon. So that's a, that's a problem I, I would wish to avoid. Um, do you want any particular health resources nearby? You can choose from hospitals, alternative medicine, oncologists, cardiologists, etc. cetera. Uh, in my case, having a, health, a hospital nearby would probably be a solid choice. Okay. We're uh, coming down towards the end of the quiz here, and we have a question about crime rates and safety. Um, is it important for me to have low crime rates? And I would say it probably doesn't honestly matter. Uh, interesting note that the United States actually has some pretty low crime overall. And even though we're all concerned about crime rates going up, it is still pretty low. And the uh, effect impacting people is not as great as it was, say, back in the 1980s and 1990s. So, and now it's going down again. So sometimes people say, wow, I'm really concerned about crime, but you're leaving a lot of places out that might be really good to live. And the crime is really not as bad as you might think. So anyway, just a thought. Yep, good thought. <clears throat> uh, as far as crime rates and safety in schools and education, um, Am I, am, I, am I wanting any particular education resources near me? Um, the question is really about, do I need a community college? Am I looking to live near a four-year college or a graduate school or any particular local schools, like really ex exceptional high schools, charter schools, private schools, religious schools, et cetera? Um, in my case, I'm done with all of that stuff, no kids. I'm going to say I don't care about any of it. And we've got two more questions left. This question is about politics and the social climate. You can select the politics and social environments that are important to you. Now, in here, we have a lot of hot button type things. You can tell us whether you're liberal, conservative, libertarian, moderate. Do you care about LGBTQ rights? Do you care about legalized marijuana? Do you care about gun rights, gun control, et cetera, and so forth? In my case, I'm actually kind of pretty much in the middle of everything. I'm curious to see what we spit out without thinking about that at all. So I would say don't select any. And our very last question, select this phrase that best describes you. I can live in any state. There are states that I want to live in in particular, or there are states that I do not want to live in. I've got a few states I don't want to live in. Let's go ahead and select that. Yeah, let's hear them. <laughs> oh, I don't cool. want to live in, oh wow, that's, that is nice. Uh, you've got the ability to select states by a region. Um, I don't want to live in Indiana. I've done that before. I don't want to live in Mississippi. I've done that before. Uh, and I don't want to live in Maryland. I've also done that. So Indiana, uh, Maryland, and Mississippi. 
Where's Mary? Where is Indiana? There it is. There it is. Okay. All right. Drum roll, please. Oh, All almost right. done. So, the, so the, Nick, this this question right here is um, is going to skew the results based on your specific interests. And so, this is an important uh, mm. question to rank the overall um, categories of that of what you're interested in most most of all. So, arts right. and culture, affordability, schools and education politics and social climate and it's going from one to five All right so on a scale from one to five i would say that the arts and culture is a five for me i would say affordability is a four schools and education is a two and the politics and social climate can just stay a three okay so now um when we push this last button we're going to get our results all right drum roll drum roll oh. Wow. wow there that we was go. too fast. That was too fast for a drum roll, guys. <laughs> wow. So my quiz results suggest that I have uh, the three best options of Egg Harbor, New Jersey, uh, Hamilton Township, which is also in New Jersey, and St. Louis, Missouri. So now, these, these are metro areas, keep in mind. And so there's a lot of cities within that metro area. One of the things to note is when you scroll down a little bit and you look at each each area inside that area is a collection of zip codes that we've ranked. And in this particular case, um, in Atlantic city, Hammond, New Jersey, Metro area, the top zip code based on your answers is zero eight, two, three, four. And if we scroll down, we can look at Trenton, you can see your top zip, zip codes, the top one from left to right, 80620. And then St. Louis, you can see that. And so notice the maps that are on here. Um, Nick actually put those maps together a while back. And nice. you can see an outline of the area. So his, his number one area, Atlantic City, he's right there on the Atlantic Ocean. Um, in that area within that outline. You know, I've always heard a lot of great things about uh, New Jersey, actually. Uh, they kind of juxtapose a lot of the negative things sometimes people hear about New Jersey. But for me, you know, it's all about recreation and things that are there for me to do outside, right? And that's a pretty great place to be for that type of thing. There's a lot, there's a lot to offer. Right. Now, so. Affordability, I think, is going to be certainly good in the Atlantic City area. Now look at our chart here. We we see the ones where it doesn't where we sort of the the ones in orange are the ones that are not rated as high. So you can look at the overall categories and see which ones are the strongest. Like affordability is a seven out of ten for that. Yeah, and, and yeah, and um, just to add on to that, Bert, um, if you look down below here, there's six categories that this place is known for. And in this case, it's known for entertainment, beaches, favorable climate, being safe, extensive amenities, and a comfortable climate. Mm -hmm. Nice. Pretty great. That's so, cool. so at the top, we have a special bonus for anyone who takes this quiz. And this is a customized report just for you. So this is, um, you know, this report is, has been taken on our test account at best places. Um, but if you take the quiz, it'll put your name right at the top. So in this case, number one is Egg Harbor, New Jersey. And you can see um, the cost of living from zero to a hundred uh, commute time, the median home cost, comfort index, population of this place. It gives a, a description, a paragraph of what Egg Harbor, New Jersey is like. It's in the Atlantic County, part of the Atlantic City, Hampton, New Jersey metro area. It has a population of 4,105, making it a large city. Egg Harbor is Egg Harbor, New Jersey is a beach and resort city, southern New Jersey shore. Egg Harbor, New Jersey is located in the eastern time zone. It has an elevation of 10 feet above sea level. 
and a land area of 66.6 square miles and 8.3 square miles of water area. September, June, and May are the most pleasant months in Egg Harbor, while January and February are the least comfortable months. And um, anything of interest, Bertrand, on, on this report that you can see? Let's see, we got uh, cost of living overall index, and then we have it broken down with a pie chart talking about the cost of living categories. We've got healthcare, housing, food and groceries, transportation, utilities, and let's see, we scroll down further and got climate and weather, climate and weather index, sunny days per year, um, crime index, both violent and property, and that's broken out separately so you can see how violent and property crime rank. Um, we got politics and voting. So you can see we're Democratic, Republican, Independent. We've got sales tax and income tax rates. Housing and real estate uh, category has median home cost, median property. What was it? We got average monthly rent. What was that? We got median property taxes. Okay, great. <clears throat> home appreciation and age of homes. You can check out what kind of homes predominate the uh, area. That's great. Looking at the market, job market, local economy, you got annual income, unemployment rate, recent job growth, and, and pro projected future job growth. So you can see how the job market has been and uh, looks to be in the future. And then a listing of uh, local culture and amenities. Also down to average age of residents, average income of residents, whether they're married or single, and what their race eth and ethnicity uh, makeup is, the religion that people practice, and again, the age of the residents, and then also total number of households and number of people, people per household. And uh, going, going down, we got even more. We got married, percent with mm. college degree, uh, people, uh, people with an advanced degree, schools and education, expenditures per student, and pupil-teacher ratio, and op and. Uh, uh, Often those are used as metrics which indicate um, indicate quality of schools. At least people do as in a, in a heuristic, uh, colloquial way. Although I think I've seen that um, sometimes expenditure per student doesn't always correlate to um, performance. Or is that completely wrong? I don't know. That's some that's some homework for all for myself and all of us included. Um, I I that can't remember. <laughs> Sorry. Um, water quality index. So this this is the health section. Health is important for all of us and it has taken on an increased importance uh, recently. You've got water quality, air quality index, super fund index. Super funds are places that the Environmental Protection Agency identifies as places that put out different kinds of waste. Isn't that correct? Uh, Bert, you're, you're an yes. expert on super fund sites. Yeah. Yeah. We, Cool. Don't so want to live can, next to a super fun site. Gotcha. So yeah. what is what is that super fun index? Can we look at that real quick? What does that tell us? That's a super fun index. It says lower is better. So it's okay. a little higher than average. So Egg Harbor gets a 59 out of 100. We're giving a zero to one or a one to 100 index for the and it, and Bert said lower is better. So you can see how that particular area ranks as far as proximity to um, big waste sp spewing plants and factories and stuff. Great. That's quite a report. How many pages is that? Well, we're looking at eight pages and possibly nine, depending on the place. Um, Great. And this is in a... Uh, um, Adobe PDF format. So it's easy to print mm -hmm. out on your printer and you can share it with your friends and family, or you could, you could just possibly email it to them, which mm -hmm. uh, would be nice. That's really right. cool. And, and yeah. keep it on your uh, a folder in your computer or on your iPhone. So you can re refer to it later. Yep. And when you're yeah. a premium member, you can take this quiz as many times as you want. And if, as you change your results to experiment with some of your preferences and answers to the questions, you'll get access to more of these PDF reports. So what I would do is start a folder on your desktop computer there, uh, um, take the quiz and start saving those PDFs and save all the PDFs of places you're looking at. And then you can compare them all. You can, like, I, like Bert said, you can print them out. Um, 
take them around the dinner table and or around the uh, the fireplace, or the TV room, and just you know um, talk about them with your family or your roommates or your loved ones, and start looking at different places you can move. Um, yeah, it's also a good conversation piece. I've had a lot of friends and family take this during the testing phase of uh, the quiz, and it's it's comes up with unique and different results for each person. And it's a good conversation piece. And like, if you have a party at your house, you could have different people take the quiz and um, it, it's a really good conversation piece. Yeah. It starts, uh, it, it provides a lot of uh, thoughts. One thing that we look at is we look at all the uh, metro areas in the U S where 80% of the population lives and that's important. Like we have the Atlantic City, Hamilton, New Jersey metro area. Metro areas are important because there are all these resources included within that. For instance, we singled out Egg Harbor as being a particularly good place to look at. But any of the places within the Atlantic City metro area deserve a look because they all share so many of the same resources like uh, stores, restaurants, uh, healthcare facilities, airports, uh, job opportunities, and that sort of thing. So that's why uh, you want to like maybe start with looking at Egg Harbor, but then expand out to the rest of the um, New uh, Atlantic City area and look at those places as well, because there's so much that they share in common, like oh, museums and sports teams, that sort of thing. And that's where Best Places comes in to help you do that. And for another episode, check out the super map because then that will let you look at that area and home in on those places as well. Yeah. One thing I want to note here is that within these results, you can actually click and it'll link you into these areas. You can do a very deep dive into all the different categories that we have related to that place. And you can even look at um, homes in that area through our partner rocket homes which it's cool it's really cool so you can you can actually look at pictures of that place through the for the listing of homes you can see the what the job market's like look at the interactive maps this is really neat um and look at the crime the climate you know we're going to do another featured episode on on crime and we're going to talk about that at a later date wow. and um then you can even do an even deeper dive into the zip code that we we rank as the top zip code for that metro area for you to actually go uh, take a look at well it's really detailed yeah, yeah. very so one stop shop, right? Great. Very nice. And this is all uh, this is all based on the preferences that Nick put in, and uh, of course, you put your preferences in, you'll come up with your own unique places based on all of this information and all of our insights into what's meaningful, what's not, and um, uh, doing the analysis behind the scenes. There's a lot of computations that go in that. Uh, the that you don't actually see going on yeah mm -hmm. one one thing uh you could do is you could have your uh wife or husband or significant other take the quiz and then you take it um and then see uh which you know see who gets what results and then compare and that'd be interesting maybe you guys get exactly the same response or uh, result maybe you have some things to discuss <laughs> Could be fake. Maybe yeah. not. <laughs> it could start a fight or you could do rock, paper, scissors and move to the winner. <laughs> yeah. And then you can sit down and take it together, of course, and then hash, yeah. you know, hash it out. <laughs> cool. That was great, Al. Thanks. Well, thank you for great. listening, everyone. And uh, I hope to catch you, everyone, on the next episode of uh, Best Places Podcast. Great. Yeah, thanks very much, Al. Um, great job. And a uh, good job for the whole team because there's a lot of data behind there that we all contributed to and that uh, we have to keep up to date as well. So um, anyway, 
see you next time on Best Places and uh, see you on the site. And thanks for using bestplaces.net. Bye, everyone. Bye.